and stick this box here. Ah. Hello, I'm Justine, making a travel bag for little Ted. And here he is. Hello, I'm Teo. Little Ted is all ready to go on holiday. Mm. Except that he hasn't packed his bag yet. We'd well, better do that, little Ted. Mm. Mm. You have to pack everything you need on holiday in your bag. Clothes first. A jumper. Mm -hmm. Put it in the bag. Shoes and socks. A hat. Anything else Ted might need? Oh, ha. Huh. Spare undies. And how about these? Yes, pyjamas. Got yes. to pack something to wear at night on holidays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, little Ted's toothbrush. I think he might need this. Where should it go? How about this pocket? Ah, a picture of a toothbrush. That's where to put it, so little Ted can find it easily. Picture of a bus here. Mm. A place for little Ted's bus ticket. And in it goes. And here's little Ted's lunchbox. There's a snack inside there in case little Ted gets hungry on the bus. In this pocket with a picture of a sandwich. Snacks packed. Need some money when you go on holidays. Here's little Ted's money. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the box, there's some pockets for little Ted's money. Ah, oh, look. Put yeah. these coins in this pocket. And this last pocket here has a picture of a phone. Here you are, Justine. Little Ted's mobile. Thanks, Teo. In it goes. Oh. Little Ted's bag needs a name tag, so we know who owns the bag. Better make one. Mm -hmm. Draw a picture of little Ted. A berry face, two ears, a nose, <laughs> two eyes, a smile. Ah. There. Little Ted looks just like him. Hmm. And on the other side, Ted's address. A house. A roof. Two windows. And a door. <laughs> a play school house. There. Now we know who the bag belongs to if it gets lost. Little Ted. Play school. We'll tie the label onto the bag. <laughs> there. Oh, that's little Ted's phone. Hello, little Ted's phone. Yes? Yes? Oh, thank you. Goodbye. That was little Ted's travel agent. It's raining where little Ted's going, so he'll have to take his umbrella. Oh. Little Ted's umbrella. <laughs> and here's a place for it. Oop. Umbrella packed. Well, little Ted, your bag's all packed. To move the heavy bag, we're going to put it on wheels. So little Ted can pull it along behind him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think little Ted's all ready now. Better hurry or you'll miss the bus. Come on, little Ted. Time to catch the bus. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, little Ted. Have a great holiday. Come on, let's go for a bus ride too. Are your wheels moving round? The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round. Round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All the way to town. Oops. It's a very bumpy road. Bump, bump, bump. The people on the bus bump up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus bump up and down, all the way to town. Ooh. Ooh. It's raining now. Have to put the wipers on. Swish, swish, swish.
The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All the way to town. Swish, 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 swish. Little Ted has gone on holiday in a bus. Have you ever been on holiday? Well, the girl in the story today goes on holiday. A bucket, sand and a rake. Things for the beach. The story today is called Rosie's Holiday. And that's Rosie. And that's her bag and her teddy. Let's see what happens. I don't want to go on holiday said Rosie, bags packed for a holiday. I like my own room. I like my own garden. And I like you all, she bellowed to the cats next door. Next day, Dad packed the car, but there wasn't room for everything. Rosie could not take all her cuddly toys. Just one, said Dad. Her bike would not fit, or her doona, or the cats next door. No, said Dad, we'll have to leave those behind. So Rosie hugged the cats. I will be back. She sat in the car, wearing her holiday hat, holding her holiday bag, and wished she wasn't going. Do you think Rosie wants to go on holiday? When they got to their holiday home, Rosie saw the sea at the bottom of the garden. Right next door, there was a field of cows with spots. They chewed and smiled at Rosie. Hello, she said. Then Rosie followed Mum and Dad inside. She ran upstairs and downstairs. <gasps> my holiday bed is bouncier than my home bed, she shouted. The next day, they all went down to the beach. Rosie filled her buckets with shells and pebbles. I might like it here she told baby Toby. Rosie's having a good time. Rosie loved the sea. Every day she splished and splashed and splotched. On the last night of the holiday, Rosie stayed up late. She watched hundreds of twinkling, sparkling stars in the night sky. I do like it here, she whispered to her mum and dad. In the morning, Rosie visited all her favourite places. I want to take the cows home, she said. They like it here, said dad. I want to take the sand and the sea home, <laughs> Rosie sniffed. I don't want to go home. Now Rosie is sad that the holiday is over. But as soon as they got back to her very own home, Rosie raced into the garden. Hello, she shouted to her garden. Her paddling pool, the stars and the sky. It's me, she yelled to the cats over the fence. I'm back. And that's the end of the story of Rosie's holiday. Rosie felt sad and happy in the story. Do you sometimes feel sad and sometimes happy? How do you feel today? How do you feel today? How do you feel today?
If you're feeling happy, then dance around. Feeling happy, then dance around. Feeling happy, then dance around. Dance around like this. Feeling grumpy now. Stomp, stomp, stomp. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? If you're feeling grumpy, then stomp about. Feeling grumpy, then stomp about. Feeling grumpy, then stomp about. Stomp about like this. How about happy again? Come on, you too. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? If you're feeling happy, then dance around. Feeling happy, then dance around. Feeling happy, then dance around. Dance around like this. Ooh, ah, someone doesn't sound too happy over there. A sad Play-Doh monster with a lumpy, bumpy body and a lumpy, bumpy monster head. See, this monster has a sad mouth. And he has a horn, too. And stumpy monster legs and a lumpy, bumpy tail. And on his back, spikes. He's a one-eyed, one-horned, lumpy, bumpy, stumpy, wumpy, spiky, crying monster. Sure looks sad to me. He is a one-eyed, one-horned, lumpy, bumpy, crying monster. One-eyed, one-horned, stumpy, wumpy, crying monster. One-eyed, one-horned, spiky, crikey, crying monster. Sure looks sad to me. So to cheer him up, I'm going to make this monster a friend. You sit over there, monster. All right. Lump the dough, thump the dough, make a funny shape. There's the monster's lumpy, bumpy body. Now for a head. Oh, bigger head, I think. Roll the dough round and round, round and round and round. Monster head onto the body. I'm going to make this monster a smile. Small piece of dough. Roll it thin. Roll, 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 roll. And a smile onto her face. Some more dough for eyes. This monster a horn too. And last of all, some spikes. Spike. Spike. Spike, spike. 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 There. A happy green. Lumpy, bumpy, stumpy, smiling monster. She is a three-eyed, one-horned, lumpy, bumpy, smiling monster. Three-eyed, one-horned, stumpy, wumpy, smiling monster. Three-eyed, one-horned, spiky, crikey, smiling monster. Sure looks happy to me. Hello, I'm a very, very happy monster. Hello, sad monster. Hello. 
it's time to cheer up and go to the annual Stompy Wompy Monster Ball. It's a dance for monsters. Stompy Wompy, 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 Wompy, Wompy. Welcome, monsters, large and small, to the Clompy Wompy Monsters Ball. Oh, this is very exciting. Even the sad monster is excited. Lots of monsters have come for a dance. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's dance. It's just, just a, a jump, jump over, over here. here. And then a step over there. Your hands on your hips. You shake around everywhere. But it's the silly way that really makes you move. Do the monster scope, it's a groove. Do the monster stomp, it's a groove. Come on, let's all have a dance. Dance like monsters. It's just a jump over here. And then a step over there. With your hands on your hips. You shake around everywhere. But it's the silly way that really makes you move. A groove. Do the monster stomp, it's a groove. Let's do the monster stomp again. It's just, just a, a jump over, over here. here. And, and then, then a step over there. With your hands on your hips. You shake around everywhere. But it's a silly way. It really makes you move. Do the monster stomp, it's a groove. Do the monster stomp, it's a groove. Monsters dancing at a monster party. We're going to see some people getting ready for a party through the windows. I wonder which window today. Let's have a look. Well, it's not the diamond window or the round window. Goodbye, arched window. We're going to look through the square window today. We're going to a dress-up party. Need to hire some costumes from the costume shop. I'm Matthew. This is my brother, Andrew, and my aunt, Kizia. I've got a book here with photographs in it. You can have a look through and see what you Pat shows us some costumes to pick from. How about the 70s? She has photos of them in a book. Oh, okay. Andrew wants to be a pirate. You'd like to be a pirate? All right. All right, what else have we And got? I want to be a clown. Do you like to be a clown? Yes, yeah, a clown. So that's what pirate and a clown? I'll go and get them for you. You can try them on, okay? Pat has a look out the back. There are so many costumes here. All sorts of things. Time to try the costumes on. Try this on for me. Good boy. I'm the clown. Oh, turn around. <laughs> How do you feel? Great. Perfect costume. Andrew tries the pirate. Do you like it? Yeah. Excellent. Kezia tries some costumes. Rapunzel with a green dress. A Mexican in a sombrero. A hippie with a silly wig. And a fairy with wings and a wand. She likes this one. Can't wait to go to the party. Matthew, Andrew and Kezia going to a fancy dress party. We're having a party too. A surprise welcome home party for little Ted. He's coming home from his holiday at the beach. Nearly home, little Ted. Yikes, here comes little Ted. Hide, everyone. 
Ah, home at last. That's strange. There's no one here to meet you. Surprise! <gasps> Welcome home, little Ted. <sighs> we missed you. Oh, little Ted missed you all too. <laughs> what great friends you are. OK, little Ted, tell us about your holiday. Well, little Ted had a great time and he brought back surprises. Some ribbons for Jemima. Oh, new ribbons for Jemima's pigtails. Mm -hmm. Thank you, little Ted. They're lovely. And little Ted brought back this for Humpty. Wow, a sun visor. Thank yeah. you, little Ted. And little Ted brought back this for Big Ted. A snow dome from the beach. Thank you, little Ted. It's great. Sometimes coming home from a holiday can be the best part. Today has been a great day for little Ted. Let's find out what day it is today. It's Friday. Friday today. And on Friday, little Ted and all his friends are together again. Mm. Oh, the more we are together, together, together. Oh, the more we are together, the happier are we. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we are together, the happier are we. Come on, you sing too. And clap. Oh, the more we are together, together, together. Oh, the more we are together, the happier are we. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we are together, the happier are we. And the friends are happy that little Ted came home. And that his bag made it home too. It must have been the label. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to make a travel bag. Or sing a song. Mm. Time for us to go now. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Would you like to go on a treasure hunt or solve a mystery? What we need is someone who's clever at finding things. Then join Zigby and his friends. It looks like... A, a treasure map! For an exciting journey through the jungle. Zigby, starting Wednesday. I've got something to show you. I'm making a necklace. Look, and I'm using sunflower seeds for beads. But sunflower seeds aren't red and yellow and green. <laughs> I know, but I can make them different colours by dyeing them. How do you do that? Well, you see these yellow beads? I make them yellow by using onion skins. Onion skins? I boil them up, and when the water cools, it looks like this. I put the seeds in here and let them soak for a while. And then I take them out, spread them out to dry, and there you are, yellow sunflower seed beads. And to make the red beads, I use beetroot. And to make the green, I use the top part of a carrot. Yellow, red and green! When the seeds are dry, I take a needle and thread and string them together like this. This necklace will be a keepsake for my mum. What's that? It's something you keep to remind you of something else. So, will the necklace remind your mum of sunflowers? <laughs> well, yes, in a way. It will remind her of Sunflower Valley. And every time she looks at it, she'll think of me. Oh, I get it. There. Wow. I tell you what. I'll make a special necklace just for you. Unreal, Banana Peel! There. Now, whenever you look at that string of beads, you can remember me and the nice day we had together here in Sunflower Valley. Yeah! 
Because I'll have a keepsake. Today, we'll join the Bananas in Pyjamas at 3 o'clock this afternoon when they prepare for a special tea party and make a terrible mess. Coming up shortly, our education programs begin with Count Us In. This year, the world's first global election is taking place. An election between Earth and global warming. It's not about what country you're from, but what planet you're from. Your light switch is your vote. We're aiming for one billion votes for Earth because our planet is worth saving. Vote Earth by simply switching off your lights for one hour and join the world for Earth Hour. Saturday, March 28th at 8.30 p.m. Did you see that? Right now on iView, Docs is screening a season of widely acclaimed films from renowned Australian director Mark Lewis. That was the beginning of all the horror. And the film that started it all, Cane Toad. Oh, I still love the animal. Hop into some hot docs on iView. Full screen, high quality, and ready when you are. iView. Do you? Oh, but this me. Amy eggs are not like chook eggs. The shells are pretty tough. You could drop an Amy egg on the grass and it probably wouldn't break. I made a hole in both ends of it with the tip of a sharp stone. As soon as the, I put the egg down and the ants swarmed all over it. A couple of days later, Mum took the emu egg round to our cousins to carve it, but that's another story. This looks great. <laughs> Having a sideshow at the Monster Fair was a good idea, Dudley. Thanks, Flip. Hmm. How many shots at the ducks do you get? Oh, I'll show you. That says one. Mm -hmm. Right. Every monster gets to throw one beanie at the ducks. Yep. <laughs> but I'm not really happy with the sign. I don't think the word is big enough for monsters to read easily. Well, you could show the number one another way. Yep, yep. Don't tell me. I know. Now, I'll just rub this out. And, um... Hmm. That's great, Dudley. That's a good, clear way to show the number one. I think monsters will be able to read that very easily. Yeah. And you know, Flynn, if a monster asks how many goes they get, I can show them this way. Hmm. Yep. That's another way to show one, all right. Hmm. Okay. I've just thought of another thing to do. I could just say one. Hmm. One shot to hit a duck. <laughs> hey, Flynn, you have one go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, but put that down, otherwise oh. you'll deafen me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, grab a bean bag and go around the front. 
Okay, Flynn, I'm just going to move over this way a bit so I don't get hit by you or the naughty monster. What naughty little monster? Well, there's a naughty monster who keeps going past and taking shots at the ducks. Oh, you shouldn't have to worry about a naughty little monster. <laughs> okay, here goes. <gasps> Flynn, you've knocked down one duck. <laughs> Come and choose a prize. Mmm, <laughs> so many to choose from. Mm -hmm. I'll have that one up there, number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's your duck! <laughs> whack, 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 wow. Show it standing straight and tall, leaning all alone. One is for the nose on my face, and there's only one mouth on me. I like to write the word one O N E. Have you ever seen a bus with two decks? One on the bottom and one on the top? It's a double-decker bus. Double one is two. Two scoops of ice cream. That's a double scoop ice cream. Two eyes. Double one makes two. My twin baby brothers, double trouble. Hi, I'm on a special detective job. I have to find a match for the number. I must remember there are lots of different ways to show numbers. Hmm. Is that a match for... No. That's a four. Look at those dots. Are they a match for... No. Those dots show three. Is there any writing here which shows... Aha, uh -huh. a numeral. That's one way to show... Hold on, what's that? T-W-O. That word is another way to show... Well, that's my job done. Two. Bye for now. Hi, Flynn. I've decided to change the number of shots every monster gets from one to three. Why is that? Oh, well, the naughty monster's putting people off by hitting them with beanies. Oh, so I thought if I gave people three shots, they might think it was worth coming back. So, now everyone gets three beanies. See? Good idea. Mm -hmm. Can I have three goes? Sure. Take your beanies. Mm -hmm. Go round the front. That's right. Now, take your time. You know the rules. Roll up, roll up. Every monster wins a prize. Hmm. Ah, you're not worried about the naughty monster, are you, Flynn? No. Hmm. OK, Dudley. Hmm? Here we go. Hmm? One. Oh, nearly. Two. Oh, mm. just missed. Three. Oh, mm. never mind, Flynn. 
<laughs> Dudley, what are you doing? Ah, I'm just keeping a record of the number of throws you had with these tally marks. How many marks have you got there? Three. Three goes, three marks. Hey, Flynn, you had three goes, but you didn't manage to hit it. <gasps> Duck! Huh? Flynn? Flynn, are you okay? The letters T R I at the beginning of a word can mean three. Three wheels. One, two, three. A tricycle. Three sides. Triangle. One, two, three. Three legs, a tripod. Three of us born at the same time, triplets. And try your luck shooting a duck. Roll up, roll up. Oh. Mm. Is that naughty monster still throwing beanies? Oh, I don't think so. It's been quiet for a while. Oh. What have you got there, Flynn? I've got four monster apples, and I thought we could share them. Oh, great. Thanks. Well, I've got another tray here, so that's one each. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> Dudley, <clears throat> you've put all four on one tray. I thought we were sharing. Ah, uh, of course. Sorry, Flynn. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dudley, there are four monster apples but three are on your tray, mm. and there's only one on mine. Oh, Flynn, I've just realised... Good. About time. The number four is made up of other numbers. See? Four monster apples, three and one. So three and one make up four. Yes, Dudley. But have you realised that you have more monster apples than me? Ah, oh, silly me. <sighs> there. That's better. See how four looks now? Two and two. Two lots of two make four monster apples. And do you know what? <laughs> Duck! Where? Oh, oh, oh. Two and two is a fair way to share four. Uh, uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Four. 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 Today I'll go for a fly. It's amazing the things you can see from the sky. Today I'm visiting the Four Farm. On the Four Farm, all the animals are in groups of four. That's how the farmer likes it. But today something is wrong. Can you see what it is? One, two, three, four. Four ducks in there. One, two, three, four horses there. And four penguins in there. <laughs> and what about the last paddock? One, two, three, four, five, five lambs. That's what's wrong. Come on, you can come home with me. <laughs> yeah! 
Miller is the gown of word for five. on the bus, two up the top and three down the bottom. Now there's four down below and one up the top, five passengers. Three up the top and two below. How many passengers? Five. Please remain seated, we are now leaving the bus stop. Fly away into the box. That's right. Hey, Buster. Come on. Come on, Buster. Hey, Dudley. Hmm? You're packing up for the day? Yep. Well, it's probably just as well with that naughty monster throwing oh. beanies. Yes. It was pretty dangerous here. Hmm. Oh. How many prizes do you have left? Oh, I'm not too sure, but I think I had three on the top shelf and two on the bottom. OK, that's three on the top shelf and two on the bottom. Three, four, five. Three and two make five. Actually, Flynn, now that I think about it, it might have been the other way around. I think that there were two prizes on the top shelf and three on the bottom. Two and three. It still makes five. Oh, but then again, maybe I had four prizes on the top shelf and one on the bottom. Four and one. That's another way to make five. Anyway, you had them, Dudley. It still looks like you've got five prizes left. Yes, actually, I didn't get to give many away. You know, I think that naughty monster scared people off. Not to worry. Here, what can I do to help you pack up? Oh. Thanks, Flynn. Well, if you could just pass me... <laughs> Duck! Gee, <laughs> oh. oh. that monster's aim is incredible! Oh! Online teaching resources to support this program are available at abc.net.au slash schools tv. <laughs> BTN looks at your well-being. We check out...